Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. And I just wanna say, yes, the title is true. It is not clickbait. We are selling our bus. And I have to be honest, it's with a lot of mixed emotions that I'm doing this video. And I'm going to explain a lot more in another video. There's so many reasons why we have chosen to sell our bus. But I'm not gonna go into those reasons in this video. I'm gonna do a whole video outlining all of those so everybody who has invested in our story and our journey can know exactly why we've made this decision. And I also want you to know that we don't make it lightly. This is something that we've been talking about very early on into our journeys on the road. We've been on the road now for just over three months and um, there's a lot of things about bus life that we love and there's some things that we don't love that we just can't overlook. So as we've told a lot of our friends and family and acquaintances that this is our decision and we're gonna go forward with selling the bus, a lot of people have told us, you're gonna lose your branding, you're gonna lose your interest in your story and your tribe. And um, that may be true, uh, but I want you to know that our journey is not over. We are downsizing. So we are going from our bus to something a little bit smaller, not a little bit smaller, a lot smaller. We don't exactly know what that is yet. Um, and that's gonna be part of what I'm going to document from here on out on our channel, is this journey of finding out what vehicle is best for our family to travel in. So our journey's not over, our traveling is not over, um, but sadly we will be saying goodbye to our bus. Um, but I just wanted to get this out there because we are going to post the bus for sale this week and uh, a lot of people will see that out there that watch our channel and watch our story. And so I just wanted to make sure that there was at least an explanation. We're so grateful to everybody who has invested in our story, who has watched our videos, who has reached out to us and, and told us how much they enjoy watching them or they've learned things about building, bus, uh, building out a bus or you know comments, endless comments on our videos that just talk about how this is their escape. Watching our, our adventures is their escape from their daily life and we just, we couldn't be more grateful to be in that position and I want you to know that we do not take it lightly. And so we're gonna continue to vlog. We're gonna continue to talk about full-time travel and family and adventure and all of that kind of stuff. And we hope you'll stick around. But if you choose not to because you were just interested in the bus or, or interested in the bus, not just, if you're interested in the bus, that's totally okay. We, we completely understand. You know, I've said from the beginning on this channel and making these videos that we were going to strive to be as real and authentic as possible and transparent. And that's what we're doing here is we're taking you along for the real life journey of our family. The other thing is, is I, I told myself that we weren't going to do anything for views, likes, comments, blah, 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 blah. We were just, just going to live our lives. And if people liked seeing our life and liked seeing us adventure and travel and go through the ups and downs and figure things out, then that's awesome. We get to have a tribe and we get to, to be with you through that. We'll document the selling process. I think that's really interesting. I think a lot of people who are jumping into a school, schoolie, will want to know what it's like to sell it when, they're, when they no longer uh, want it or, or it no longer fits them. So we'll document all of that as well. I hope you'll stick around and uh, we're gonna jump into this week's vlog. Here we go. Hey there friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, Kenya, and Milo. We live for love and adventure. In November of 2017, we sold our house and most our possessions in pursuit of simplicity and freedom. Two months later, we bought a 2001 Bluebird school bus to make our home. After building out the bus for six months, we've been on the open road full time. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. We're stoked for you to join our journey and hope you enjoy watching our videos as much as we love making them. So hit subscribe and enjoy the adventure. So we've made it to the coast. We are in Florence, in Florence, Oregon. We just pulled up into a cool little campground and uh, jellyfish. 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 <laughs> so now we're exploring the area a little bit, run, walking out of the docks into an area called Old Town and checking out kind of the fishing scene. And apparently we've got a jellyfish. See that 
something coming up? Oh, yeah. That was so cool. So we are at Lake Cleowax? Lake Cleowax. Outside of Florence. And there's these giant sand dunes on the shore of the lake. It's pretty incredible and really hard to walk in. Is this sand pretty soft? Yes, very cold. Very cold. And this down there, right there. She found a little puppy now. Is this rat or what? Super fine sand. So cool. Hey, come out of your home. Okay. <laughs> we're lizards. Oh, you're we're, lizards. No, we're platypuses. Oh, you're platypuses. I'm a lizard. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird for a platypus in the knee. We found Leva. There's Addison. And she's oh. a beaver. Oh, oh there's Ma. Oh, please stop. The bush is birthing you. She's a. No. All right, today we are at the sea lion caves. This cool little establishment on the 101. We're gonna go see some sea lions and stuff. See what we can see. We gotta cross the road. Cross, 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 cross. We didn't get smashed. We wanna buy this camera. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. I really like that. It'd make a perfect touch for my bed. Me too. This is our kids' favorite section. This will make, make the perfect touch for my bed. Oh yeah, what? Of course, there has to be a gift shop, and of course, there has to be stuffed animals. Okay, let's go see the real thing. So we are heading down the stairs. To the sea lions. To the sea lions, they said. To the left is a cliff where there's a bunch of sea lions hanging out. To the right, there's the cave. Go down an elevator and uh, go down into the caves. <laughs> There's a sea lion lookout and sea lions. This is so cool. There's like, I mean, at least 50. At least, yeah. At least 50 sea lions down in the caves. Apparently that's not all that common, but we're getting a show. They're playing and barking, <laughs> napping. There's some big ones. Oh, that big one's moving. Here's the entrance of the cave from the outside. While we were in the cave, it had this crazy fog come in. So you dig through and then you find the treasures inside. I could use this thimble for sewing. <laughs> I love gift shops. They're the best. All right, so we just got done at the Sea Lion Caves just outside of Florence. How was it, guys? It was awesome. I bought binoculars. You bought binoculars. I bought a set that I can dig and brush with and find treasures. Yeah, so the souvenir shop obviously was the thing that made the but biggest impression. It was a good go. souvenir shop. Souvenir shop. Souvenir shop. Souvenir shop. Souvenir shop. And decent prices for us. Mom, in shop. Give me my all right, all right. So let's talk about let's the actually real talk about the case. situation. What was the best part? The stinkiness. The, st no. <laughs> um, the stench. Watching one of the sea lions nudge their nose on another one's chest and push them off the rock. 
<laughs> yeah, there were tons and tons of sea lions. It was. They were fighting oh. for their space. We thought we saw a pup. Yeah. So a couple of things to know, it is on the 101 and traffic is insane. Parking's kind of crazy, but it's so worth it. I thought it was awesome, even was just for awesome. the views, even just for the coast views yeah. off their decks were, were beautiful. Um, so that's that's awesome. A couple of things, take a jacket. The cave is it's cold. fairly cold. Um, I think it was like, I looked at the thermometer, it was like 50, just below 50 degrees in there, something like that. And you're in there for a while. The it's elevator cold in Oregon in general on the coast. Yeah. Yes. Katie is discovering <laughs> this is not that the coast in Oregon is cold. Your beach experience <laughs> that you may be anticipating. Somehow Katie thought <laughs> no, Oregon coast think. was like just, Southern California coast. No, I didn't think that. <laughs> okay. It's just cold. It's cold. So, um, there's a lot of walking up and down stairs and ramps, so just be aware of that. What else? Binoculars. Oh, binoculars would have been fun to binoculars have. binoculars because you could see the, you can see the sea lions so much better. But it was awesome. We loved it. Mm -hmm. It was a great time. The sea lions are really cool, really beautiful. Yeah, and there's two skeletons that you can see. There are two skeletons of sea lions that you oh, can see. Oh, How many thumbs up? At least five. Five Ooh. thumbs up. Sea lion caves. Our neighbor in our campground here that we've been at for almost a week, he's in that tent. He's a fishing guide. And so we were talking to him last night and he offered to take us out on his boat out onto the river and the ocean. So we are bundling up because it's cold. It's and, and we are very, very excited from the English woman in the bathroom. And uh, we're bundling up. We're heading down to the dock and he's gonna take us for a stroll up the river. We're stoked. Got your binoculars? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it does what I need it to do. It's not huge, but you know, I like less people. You know, I'm licensed yeah. to fish yeah. six, but four is perfect for me. You keep an eye on everybody, you can handle everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Milo, exactly. did you see Jesse's life jacket? Yeah. Oh. Can you get one of those? Hi, Jesse. Jesse. Don't hold on to her. Jesse, come here. Come here, Jesse. Oh, does she like the front? Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.